Hello everybody, it is Tiffany. I know I've been away for whew, um, a while um, to some because like not being on YouTube for like a month is like forever. But you know, I've had good reasons why because I've been very busy with work and you know, school and everything like that. So, you know, I'm trying to get my life together, I'm trying to do a lot of things for myself and trying to just get my life in order, and that's what I've been doing. So, you know, that's why I haven't been posting any videos. So, please forgive me if you love watching my videos. Thank you guys for all your love and support. Thank you guys for the 2,000 you know followers and subscribers i thank you guys from the bottom of my heart and you know with my channel i want to be as honest as i can be with you guys and try to give y'all content that i know that y'all gonna love and i just want to be myself because this is my channel and i gotta be myself i can't be nobody but me so with that being said welcome back to a new video welcome back everybody i know it's been a while but um i'm coming back with good news because i wanted to film this video for that particular reason because i really want to um talk about how i passed my recent ged social studies test oh my god when i tell you guys like i've been doing so much stuff since then that it hasn't really finally settled in that i actually passed my third um ged test and it was actually the social studies test so um let's just back up so i can't remember the date you guys i'm just getting off work so I, my mind is everywhere so i'll probably put the date somewhere in the video where i took my first social studies test about a few weeks ago maybe two weeks ago um and i did not pass and I was very upset like I was very upset at myself mostly because I felt like I was ready to take the GED social studies test two weeks ago but maybe it wasn't meant for me to take it at the time that I scheduled the test so um I ended up going to the school and taking the GED test and I did not pass I ended up getting a 143 okay and it takes a 145 in my state um, of Florida to pass so I was like two points really two points but I couldn't fault myself and I, I mean I couldn't fault the, the test or anybody else because I really didn't really study like I would brush up on a couple things but I really didn't study I just took the GED ready test and I felt like I was ready because I was likely to pass but just because you take the GED ready um, or do practice tests does not always mean that you're like absolutely ready so with that being said I ended up doing the test I came back very depressed mad because I was like man you know I just spent $32 for this subject and I went all the way down there just to fell it and I was just so upset but you know you know my family just kept me going like Tiffany you got this like you was only two points away so what you complaining about like you know for somebody who didn't study you know that much or really didn't you know do a lot of practicing and stuff you know around the time I mean up until I took the test you know that's great you know what i'm saying so just keep focusing and my auntie my sisters my mother you know they really helped me so i just took that and i ran with it and i did what i usually do i'm gonna put my phone down here y'all um i did what i usually do and i pulled this book out okay get a good look at this book okay I ended up pulling this book out and I went to social studies and I just literally studied everything within social studies um, and then I just got me little little things like this little books and stuff to write in or practice in and this is just basically what I did I'm gonna show y'all real quickly because I know y'all like uh, what did you do to pass how did you pass so all I did basically was I opened the book I scanned like every single page that was in the book like everything that was in the book that I felt would be helpful in 
it will benefit me so that's all I did I scanned every practice test so you see towards the bottom it says social studies practices so I you know just scanned and copied every page that I could you know and I just started getting to work I just you know really put my mind to what I was trying to study and I kind of you know also what helped me start back studying like really hard was the things that I got on the test about propaganda about bias maps um you know fact and opinion and that's what all of these practices cover which I'm going to show you guys so you know this you know they definitely do ask you these things on the test so with that being said before I get into all that I ended up passing so okay let's I'm jumping too far so after I went to work like just studying doing practice tests online which I will leave the link to where I did my practice test for social studies which is identical to the test um, that helped me out a lot but um, basically I just printed out all the the pages out of the book and I just highlighted and did everything but um, then that's when I felt like I was ready I was like you know what so two weeks later I scheduled my test again but they discounted it because I felt it the first time so me paying for my second social studies test was like twelve dollars literally twelve dollars um so I was excited about that because I'm like thank god I don't have to pay thirty two dollars again because you know um you know it's kind of like dang that sucks that I have to pay $32 just to come home and fail it but you know it is what it is I'm strong I'm, I'm not gonna ever stop so I ended up getting to work doing practice tests scanning all the pages in my book you know doing all that stuff because I knew that I was stronger than you know failing a test by two points and I wasn't gonna let it take me over you know what I'm saying so I just went to work highlighted went online did a lot of study tests really study every morning like I would get up around like 12 noon maybe 11 o'clock to 12 and I would study and I'll do it again the next day and the next day so I ended up taking my test August 14th that was the day that I chose to take it retake it um, and that was a Tuesday um, I took it around like 4 15 p.m. so my you know the afternoon which was great went in and everything I'm telling you everything that I studied you know with just highlighting and really comprehending what I was reading everything that I studied was on the test and I recommend that you definitely get your hands on this book right here okay I'm gonna show it to you one more time get your hands on this book right there um, make sure you um, open the book scan all the pages all the practice pages all the civics and government US history pages um, that you can even if you just want to work out of it but just go through the whole social studies um, tablet because it's I'm telling you like they're gonna go they're gonna take you through everything on the social studies test but I, I, um, the things that I recommend that you study the most I'm gonna let you know right now because I'm gonna tell you exactly what I study so you guys can really get a clear picture okay so make sure you guys study page 410 in that book and this is determine central idea and draw conclusions okay I'm not gonna really go over you know all of this because that's why you guys got the book and you guys can really you know go over it yourselves and really look at it but definitely go over draw um drawing conclusions and determining central idea okay that's the first social studies um practice um lesson that they give you this one you definitely need to go over analyzing author's purpose and point of view definitely go over this and that is on page 414 in the social studies practice um part and uh 
this pretty much just goes over analyzing author's purpose um, and their point of view and just knowing how to understand what the author is trying to tell you or trying to get you to understand. So you're going to definitely have to know on the test what is a biased point of view, what is propaganda, and what is loaded words, which is words that trigger emotion, re emotional responses, okay? So definitely go over this because they definitely will ask you what was Benjamin Franklin's uh, bias uh, point of view or, you know, bias, such and such and such. They will ask you these little key things that you need to know. So definitely go over analyzing author's purpose and point of view, okay? And that, once again, is page 414. Um, I'm not going in any particular order because they all are on the same type of page. You just got to keep flipping the page and you'll go to the next lesson in the next lesson. You definitely need to um, know how to analyze relationships between materials such as, you know, bar graphs, line graphs, circle graphs, maps. It's all on this page right here. You got to learn all this stuff. Got to go over all this stuff because this stuff is definitely on the test. So definitely get the book and it goes over pretty much everything. And I'm telling you, once you go through these and do them every day and get it drilled in your head, when you when that question pops up on the test, you'll know how to answer it. Um, you definitely need to know levels and branches of government, the different levels and branches. Um, you definitely need to know what checks and balances mean. You definitely need to know the legislative branch. Um, the executive um, branch, federalism, you know, just go over this whole lesson right here, which is page 448 in that book, if you have it, okay? If you don't have it, get the book, okay? Um, and you also need to go over interpreting words and ideas because they definitely will have questions on the test that says, what does relieve mean? So you got to figure out what they mean in their passage by relief. And you got to find something that is similar to what, they're, what they mean by the word relief. So that's what interpreting words and ideas mean. And you also need to know cause and effect. You need to know cause and effect. What happened? What, what was the cause that made this event happen? Um, you definitely need to know facts and opinion. You know, how to deter determine a fact and opinion. And this page, which is about interpreting words and ideas, which looks like this, okay, that is page four t 412 in the social studies practice part, okay? Let me see what else you guys need to know. I'm not going to go over everything because this video will be very long. This is not a teaching lesson, you guys. Um, I just want to show you guys what I did and how I, you know, got through it and passed it on my second go around okay you definitely want to go over economics because they definitely will have a few questions on the test about economics and you know um producer goods and supply and demand um they definitely will have questions on that and they definitely will have you know questions like this about supply and demand and they will give you graphs like this also you know how to answer it and look at a graph or a line graph and determine what is the point of view and what is the conclusion you draw from just looking at this particular map so definitely go over economics basic economics okay that's lesson one on page five i mean 458 in economics tab okay definitely go over that um yeah, you know, definitely go over U.S. basis um, for U.S. systems. So U.S. No, this is civics and government. Yeah, go over um, democracy and all that stuff too, which is in the Department of Civics and Government, and that's page four hundred and forty-four. Go over this as well. And um, yeah, you can definitely go over the you know Declaration of Independence, the Bill of Rights, the U.S. Constitution, because they will give you questions on the Bill of Rights and the uh, de the Declaration of Independence and the American Revolution. They definitely will. So, and that's page 430, okay? And I believe this is lesson one in that U.S. chapter, U.S. history chapter. So, definitely go over that as well. I think there was something else you need to go over. 
Um, do, 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 and also go over interpreting data, which they give you a lot of these type of questions too. Okay, a lot of bar graphs and a lot of graphs that you have to learn how to determine what they're telling you and answer the questions appropriately and looking at the maps and all the percentages and the numbers on the side so you can determine. Definitely go over that. That's page 422 in the social studies practice um, part. Um, okay, and last but not least, also go over... Uh, author's reasoning and advice which is pretty much fact and opinion and learning how to um uh, let me see does the author support the claim of the passage learning how to just look through passages and see if the author's claims are supported by evidence and do they back up their claims learning how to you know 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 if it's a fact and opinion or judgment all this stuff all these pages go over it in the book and that's 416 in the practice social studies practice part okay all of these all these papers that i printed out they're all in that book you just got to either buy it if you don't want to write in the book do what i did and just print them out and just work from there and i'm telling you it works because I failed the first time and then I got me like a little notebook from Walmart or Dollar Tree or wherever you want and I just started writing notes. Everything that I felt like I know I was going to need to know. You guys get your hands on this book because this book right here will make you pass. You just got to have the passion and the ambition to want to pass and want to get up and dust your shoulders off. You're not going to always pass the test the first time because I was shocked I was like dang you know I thought that I was gonna do good but guess what I didn't and I had to reschedule and guess what I passed my second time with a 157 versus a 143 which I started so I actually did even better than what my actual score is supposed to be because the um, the maximum score that you are supposed to get is a 145 in my state of Florida. I don't know where else, you know, you can get a 145. I know it's either between a 145 or a 150 in different states and stuff. But down here, it's only a 145. And I actually got a 157 on my social studies. So, you know, I just, get, get y'all get y'all hands on this book. This book is really good. It comes with all the subjects. This book has been through a lot, but it has helped me so much. So um, I ended up passing. So. Right now, I've passed my language arts, um, I've passed my science, and I just passed my social studies. I did everything myself. I got these books from Amazon two years ago. They were $10 at the time. They're not $10 anymore because everybody uses them now, so the prices have went up, but it doesn't matter about the price. It is, it is it's a good investment to have because it goes over all the subjects in just one book. So you ain't got to buy each book. Just buy this one book. And I'm telling you, you will pass the GED test. You just got to study at least for an hour to an hour and a half every day. And just, you know, understand and keep going over it. Do practice tests online too for every subject that you're doing. Put in Google GED science practice test. And it, it'll come up. And you just keep practicing them questions because most likely the, the test, the practice test that be online is exactly how the test looks because that's what happened to me. I was just like, you know what? I feel like I understand what's going on in the book, but let me try to practice a little bit. And I just put in GED social studies practice test. And sure enough, I hit a website and that website had the exact type of questions that I had on my previous test. So I knew how to answer them and I knew how to look at certain graphs and what I was looking for and line graphs and knowing how to determine what the author is telling me and, and, and fact and opinion. So, you know, I know this video may be long, but I want to tell y'all because I know I've been away for a long time. So I just thank you guys for still tuning in um, because it's very big. Getting your GED is very huge and i never thought in a million years that i can sit here at the age of 25 and say 
I'm three subjects down with the help of nobody. I didn't buy a tutor. I didn't ask nobody to help me because let me tell you something. Never rely on anybody to get you where you need to be in life. I'm going to repeat that. Never rely on anyone to get you where you need to be in life. That's in a career, that's in school, that's in your finances, that's in whatever you want to do in your life. You do it on your own because people don't always want to see you do good. People don't always want to see you succeed. People pray against you. So let me tell you all this, and this is what my mother told me. Never tell nobody when you're taking your test. Just take it because if you don't pass it, it's between you and the test and, 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 and whoever that was in the test, they know about it. But people outside, they don't know about it because that's where I messed up. Because when I took my um, social studies test the first time a few weeks ago, I, I went on Instagram telling everybody, oh, today's test day. Da, 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 da. And sure enough, I went, took the test and I failed. Okay, August 14th, took my test, didn't tell nobody but my mama and my sisters. And guess what? Came out with a 157 and I passed. Okay, with the strength of my Heavenly Father up above. I prayed and I made sure I studied. I even took along my notes just to refresh my brain and my memory. So trust and believe me, it's possible. Never stop. If I can do it, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? So in 2016, I passed my language arts okay and then this time around i passed i mean and then this year in 2018 um, in january i passed my science and then just recently in august i passed my social studies so now i'm moving on to the most difficult subject ever which is mathematics but you know no, no nothing Nothing can stop me and no weapons for me shall prosper. Nothing can get in my way of getting this test done. I'm not, I, I, I've never been good at math, but guess what? Let me tell you something. Look at this book right here. This is the book I read. Just look at it. No excuses. It's a very motivated, it's a good motivating book. And I always try to stay motivated and keep motivating things around me. So when I get up in the morning, I know there's no excuses to be made. You know, because nobody helped me. Nobody. When I dropped out of school, um, you know, when I was 17 years old, I decided to go to GED. You know, that was me at the age of 17, knowing that I knew that I was still going to do, you know, what I had to do. Because I've never been a person to just settle. Never. You know what I'm saying? So at the age of 17 to now I'm 25 years old, I can sit here and say I'm three subjects down. And I did it all by myself, by studying and believing in God that I know he has a better future for me. And it's never too late to get your GED and your education. So now I'm moving on to mathematics. Um, so now that I'm moving on to mathematics, um, I ended up purchasing this book about two years ago with this one because I already know that math is like my least favorite subject. And I know that, you know, I just want to work out of one book that just caters to math. So I ended up purchasing um this particular book yes it says 2015 but the same um stuff that's in this math book is in this book too so just because it says 2015 it doesn't matter the test changed in 2014 so as long as you get 15 and up you're good okay so i'm on to mathematics i haven't cracked it open i say i'm gonna crack it open later today and go over everything and we'll see what happens but that's just how it goes. You know, I'm moving on. This is my last test and I will be graduating. Like when I tell y'all I'm going to cry and I definitely will share that moment with you guys. But um, right now I'm just going to stay focused. Nothing can stop me. I got these books. Um, they're going to help me and even, I'm going to do the same thing that I did with this. You know, get up every day and study, go over things, go online and do practice tests. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if the video is long, but I really wanted to come on here and talk to y'all and let y'all know that it's possible that it doesn't matter what people try to say. It doesn't even matter if you felt it one time, dust your shoulders off and get back up and try it again because I had to do it. So that's the end of this video. Um, I have a, another video coming where I printed out like a bunch of like comments that I get on like my biggest um GED video so I will be answering just a few of you guys questions and um you know I'm not gonna you know 
read everybody's comments because I just can't. But, you know, that'll be the next video that's coming up. So I love you guys with all of my heart. Thank you guys for all the congratulations that you have given to me when I finally told you guys that I passed my social studies test and I'm three down and one to go. So if you are watching this, never tell nobody that you're taking your test. Always just go take it and do it. Um, if you don't pass, don't, don't, don't let it beat you up. Dust your shoulders off and try again. And I'm living proof that anything is possible and always pray and always study at least for an hour to an hour and a half. Just study every day because that's what I did. Take notes, get the right GED books. You see the ones that I've, I've used and I've passed three subjects with using these books. So it is a guarantee that you will pass using these books. I don't think you need anything else. You know, just be very focused and never rely on anybody to get you where you need to be in life. So I love you guys with all of my heart. It's your girl, Tiffany, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.